Hello everybody, welcome back in the video. So right now we know the current roster that's in the demo from I'm pretty sure PAX. Not sure though, it could be E3 or whatever. But um yeah. So we know that right now we only have 12 characters and I'm not counting the the, the random button. Let's get that out of there. So we already know that there's the Order of No Quarter, Shovel Knight, Black Knight, Shield Knight, and then Gold Armor. That's it so far though. Um, so that's a cool reveal, but that's simply it. So today we're gonna, I'm gonna try to speculate and guess what move sets might be. So I already know some of the move sets, but I'm not really sure because I don't know how this game's gonna be. It could be similar to Smash that there's not like a crazy amount of moves, but most to all of them, unless they're an Echo Fighter, I guess, or just a complete clone, are new. Like um, I'm just gonna say right now, Shovel Knight probably has access to every single relic probably besides the anchor maybe and i'm just saying that because i knew that because um gold armor has the anchor and i don't think that they would make it so two characters have the same exact move that do the same exact thing then again they probably could saying there's black knight and shovel knight and those are like very similar characters but yeah so we're gonna go and try to speculate black knight's moveset I, he's gonna have that kind of purple burst attack, and I feel like it's gonna be just like the flare wand. Like, since this game has to be more balanced, it's gonna be a little faster and easier to shoot. He's gonna have that large spike like he did in his um, first boss, boss battle in the plains. He seems to have the same exact normal, like, shoveling motion as Shovel Knight does in the normal games. And he's obviously gonna have his patent and he's obviously gonna have his mover he strikes down trying to hit you if there is special moves in the full game i don't believe there is right now but if there is it would be really cool just to go and see him turn into that weird devil angel flying wing knight thing that was weird that was a hard boss by the way but uh yeah so if you don't know uh this game I'm pretty sure it's free DLC for the, um, if you have the normal version of Shuffle Knight. So, um, yeah. And that, I think, might be blo all of Black Knight's moveset. Like, I'm, like, there could be something else, but I kind of don't know what. Um, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe he might have, like, I don't really know, he doesn't have much moves now that I'm thinking of it. Oh, he might have, like, a teleporting kind of, like, not a phase, but, like, a boosting kind of move. Um, and now, I feel like, let's go on to Spectre Knight. I feel like Spectre Knight's gonna have almost the same as he is in the normal game. Um, I mean Spectre Torment by that. He's probably gonna have the, uh, Scythe Sickle. He might have the Will Skull. Um, he's gonna be able to phase, almost definitely. He's gonna have the same standard attack as he does in Vector Torment. He's probably gonna have that homing attack. Uh, so yeah, I don't really believe that there's anything else that could... That, well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff they could add, but that's mainly just having stuff from Spectre Torment. Um, he might have a counter. It would be cool to see that, because in the footage here, you'll just see that he did this kind of stance. And that could be a counter, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But for now, let's just try to say that's countered. And that's kind of all I have for this guy right now. Like, he seems to be more floaty than the other characters, but he doesn't really seem to be very different, I guess, than he is in Spectre Corman. Let's go on to Shield Knight. This one, I'm, this one's gonna be a lot of guessing and speculation, saying the people in this footage are only really using two, like, three attacks of it. But, um, yeah, so, Shield Knight in the normal game, again, this is gonna have spoilers in the title, I'm not gonna hold back, but this is like a really bad spoiler here, so if you really don't want the game to be ruined and you didn't read the title or something for some reason, then just skip about 20 seconds ahead, and, but um, yeah. So at the end of the game, Shield Knight is actually the Enchantress, and we save her, and then she has like only like two or three moves. The moves in the game is that she jumps up with a diagonal hit, blocking things for you, so you can, so then you don't take damage. 
she also has this thing that she puts it above her head and kind of like floats in midair. So you can volley off of it or just pogo off of it to go and hit the... Oh, I forgot the name. But the darkness that came from that amulet. I completely forgot. Wow. But, um, yeah. So since you're so, so that you're able to hit her and then so on, like, you know, try to win. But, um, yeah, the one problem here is that she doesn't do much in that battle besides jump. So, I don't really know. And in the cutscene, they don't really show her doing anything crazy like that. Luckily, she's not a damsel in distress character, so she's gonna have her own reinforcements and stuff. But, yeah, I think maybe she's gonna have a, um, I don't really know, like, punching. She can throw her shield. Obvious blocks and stuff like that makes sense. She's gonna block, maybe have the... I don't really know for this character. Uh, she could have something similar, similar to Shovel Knight. Like, maybe she'll be able to kind of have, like, a spike or, like, a counter with her shield. I don't really know. But this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna guess here. This is gonna be gold armors. All the other characters, they already have movesets and stuff, saying they were Order of No Quarter. And those guys, we already know how they battle, so it seems like they're the same as they were in the normal game. But uh, yeah, Gold Armor is going to have, I feel like, has the similar attacks. He has the little anchor that he throws in some levels. He's definitely going to have a counter and a block. Maybe a shield rush, but I'm not really sure on that one. It would be cool to see a shield rush, but I'm not so sure. And um, it seems like he has some... Like, it would, maybe it would be cool if he, like, pulls out that big chain, like, the ball chain that he does a lot in Spectre Torment, and is able to hit you with it. So, um, yeah. Go, uh, see, let's go tell in the comments below what you think will happen, and if you agree with what I think the movesets are gonna be. Hope you enjoyed this video, and a good bye!